Oh, Manny, what the fuck is going on? Yo, lads, how's it going? And welcome back to a very, very angry youtube video here today now about this time of the, the game we're about a one month out from the season we're going to start getting news about the new season what's coming up and one of them is the new season transition blog which ea have just dropped however it does have a little bit of a twist i'm going to talk about it and explain my feelings towards the end but here is a basic rundown of what is going to go on in the new season what won't carry over and all that good stuff will there be a new app to the next fifa mobile season no but you'll be updating your app from your existing fifa mobile app from the play store or app store on the new season release which comes in january still don't know an official date just yet we just know that it is in january uh, which items will reset the account level, your roster, which is which is your current starting eleven, but your season overall does still matter in terms of now and later rewards. Your coins, your gems, skill boost, fans, cups, quests, league record, friends list, VIP level, training XP, leaderboards, badges, and leagues. Which items won't reset? FIFA points, now and later players, user logos, emotes, kits, username, and user ID. Legacy mode. We already know that legacy mode is not going into the new season. Your end of season team overall. Your end of season team overall does still matter. You will receive rewards in the new season based on your overall and your final team. The higher your active lineups overall, the better your rewards. We don't know what these rewards are going to be just yet. Usually, it's just a bunch of coins, a few elite players, a few gold players, etc, etc. Now, here is the horror fine part regions another major change coming in the fifa mobile's new season is the launch of separate servers that are based on your location all players will be included in one of seven regions which means that you will be playing fifa mobile with only other players in your region this will help matchmaking and create an overall better experience want to debate on that one ea sports this was not an easy decision to make. We understand that some leagues are international. We believe that benefits of adopting regions are great enough to warrant this major change. FIFA Mobile has a player base around the globe and ultimately this change is about making the game a better reflection of that. Even though you're splitting us into seven sections. Yeah, great way to keep the community active together, right EA? Who is making these decisions? By doing this, we are attempting to make the game more accessible and affordable to a wider audience. And by trying to make a, a fairer gaming experience for everyone. So, if you didn't know, for the lower fortunate countries, just in general, so like Turkey, India, they got a massive FIFA point or price reduced. Recently, they got like up to 200, 300% off what the usual FIFA mobile FIFA point pricing are. And this now explains it, which could mean that for each seven regions, they're going to all have different prices. So Europe, West are going to have one price. Latin America might have a different price, which may be a little bit more affordable to all the general countries that are in there, etc., etc. Now, what does this mean for me? When you log into the new season of FIFA Mobile, you will be entered into one of these seven regions. It's based on your device's locations and cannot be changed. So as someone who is from the UK, who is in the Western Europe category, if I was to have a VPN, for example, and I'm my, de my device pretending to be in, in NA, if I went into the game first off in NA, I would be stuck there my entire season. And just think twice before doing something like this. If you do plan to go to a different region because you've got more friends in there, every time you play a game of versus attack or head-to-head, -head, you are going to be on ridiculous levels of ping. So my opinion is that you stick to the region that you are naturally in. What will be affected by regions? Region change effects of a lot of parts in FIFA Mobiles. All these aspects will be affected. Matchmaking in game modes, verse attack and head to head, leaderboards of division rivals and live events, leagues and friend lists. If you are in a different region to someone, you cannot be in the same league as them and you cannot add them in your friend list. How will this affect my league? Leagues will be restricted to a single region, as I've just said. And then they also say that we are hoping that friendships and connections can continue to be blossomed on our community social channels. But if they want them to continue to blossom, why on earth would you split it up for the league section as well? In terms of doing it for verse attack and head to head, I completely understand that. But doing it for a friend list and the league section as well, which is where the entire community comes to meet into one. It makes no sense to me. The only thing that I can think of is that the EA are going to start branching the game towards different sections. And it's going to be more like Korean separated from Chinese, which is also separated from Japanese, which means that we could all just experience a completely different game. New events in different locations, etc, etc. So if I look at this from a content creator side, my viewer base might be split into one seventh here at EA Sports. Yet you want the community to be engaged together? Come on, man. Also, 
Not only this, we are getting a longer season apparently. The upcoming season of FIFA Mobile will bring an abundance of updates and changes to gameplay features, graphics and audio, and the overall season format. As a part of this update, we've designed the upcoming FIFA Mobile season to run longer. After seeing the outbreak AEA, of the season being extended from November to January, why are you extending it? again so we're probably going to be looking at something that runs from january 2022 to november 2023 nearly two years if it was to reset this update allows you to grow your team for longer without losing progress and will give you much more flexibility with your ultimate team which in turn will be a more enjoyable experience yeah everyone's really having fun right now right whilst we're waiting for the new season after it's been extended and then there's also a link in the description to so the full region list if you want to know where your country lies there will be the link in the description and you can go and find your country in here oh yay sports man never fail to disappoint do you oh wait second time in two months i'm just fed up of the game constantly going one step forward and i would normally say two steps back but this i don't get it i do not get it if they're gonna try and go for an experience which is better in game why would you commit the community into seven? What? What is the thought process? I don't get it. The fucking worst thing to come with this is there is zero explanation, like a real one, as to why. Well, just so you get a better connectivity in matches. So if you look at this from a content creator side, if we do get everything split into seven, if you're from Asia and you're watching this video right now, my game may be completely different to yours in the future, which means it's going to be completely hopeless you watching me in order to get some entertainment out of it. Now, also, if we do go down the different events section or whatever, if that was to happen in the future, which to me it does sound like, how am I supposed to give a guide for someone who has an event in Asia when I can't see that event myself? That's got to be the reason why leagues and friend lists are being separated because everyone's going to have different cards in the future. <sighs> I mean, I'm genuinely lost for words on who is making these decisions and genuinely going to that meeting table and being like, yo, guys, let's extend the season. You know the, the negative response we got from extending the season from November to January. No, just just let's let's go and extend that season again. Let's make it longer than November 2019 from January to 2021. Let's just go from January 2021 to November 2022. No one will care, right? No one. And I saw this coming a mile off, a mile off. As soon as you see that the beta was exactly a replica of the Korean version of FIFA Mobile, it means now that we are going to get stats that go over 140. It is genuinely mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. I'm, I'm lost with other words on this whole whole thing. I don't know what, what to think anymore. And if you also look at the, the transition blog, there's also a Spanish and a Russian version. Look at these guys. Written by EA Fiery Helios. EA Grow Grey, and then EA and one for the English version. To me, it looks like they're just going to completely separate us all as a community. What to say? What to say? Now, I really won't be surprised if people are in the majority of the situation like me and genuinely contemplating quitting this game. From my experience on Korean FIFA Mobile, after one week of playing the game, you are bored to high heaven because the event structures are terrible. Getting players that are going to be 110 overall every single day for free is absolutely crazy and we are gonna go we are going down this route guys we are going down this route i'd love to know your thoughts on all of this below leave it in the comments have a debate put your arguments out there i i really can't see myself playing this game i'm gonna try the new season but i'm i'm fed up i'm fed up of the bad news every single fucking week leave a like if you agree with what i said subscribe if you're new yeah, the best thing is remember when ea said that this was gonna be our biggest and best update yet don't lie to us in the future. Thank you for watching.